everybody and welcome to my newest YouTube video. Uh, first off, I do want to thank you guys for um, 20 subscribers. Uh, it's awesome, all the views, all the likes and everything. I really appreciate it. It is noticed and it is appreciated. Now, this is kind of going to be a different video. I pretty much, I put my boys to bed. It's around 8 o'clock and I'm pretty much kind of in my thoughts and I just wanted to kind of share what's on my mind. <laughs> so this is kind of going to be a venting video. Let's just see where it goes. Um, as you guys may know, I do have um, anxiety and depression. For those who uh, don't know that I have anxiety and depression, I do talk about it a little bit in my 25 things that you do not know about me. So if you guys do want to uh, watch that video, I will have it linked down below. Now I was diagnosed with it uh, back in 2011 when I did have my son. I think it was around 2011 or 2012. And I was diagnosed with it then. I was medicated and then I went off the medication. Now, I noticed uh, my anxiety was getting really bad towards 2017, which was literally one of the worst years of my entire life. Um, but I was noticing it back then and I didn't really think of it. I just was like, stress and whatever. Now, when I started my new, my job over at uh, a call center there, I started um, having anxiety attacks every single night. Uh, it was getting to the point where it was really, really, really horrible. I would be calling my dad over the phone and on my breaks. I would be just crying at him like I wanted to go home. I did not want to stay there. I just wanted to go home. And pretty much it was like if I didn't come home, like I didn't want to be here at all. I was that low and my old job really sparked it up and it was it wasn't good now I think the only thing that really kept me there as long as I uh, did was the people I worked with because they were amazing um, but it really was not enough for me to stay where I was so I left and I basically spent um, this summer focusing on my boys, focusing on life and I wanted to uh, wait until I was ready to go back to work which was um, the end of the summer uh, when my oldest one was back in school I would be looking for another job. But here's the problem, I'm terrified. I'm absolutely terrified to go back to work. I'm terrified to have another job. I'm terrified to feel the same way I was. I'm terrified. I don't know what to do. I don't know how I am supposed to overcome this feeling. I have been looking for work. I've been doing it for the last couple days now. I've been applying and everything but I'm afraid to actually commit to finding another job and securing one because of the feeling that I was having at my last job. It's hard, <laughs> it's very hard. Um, now, with that, there are other things that I have been kind of experiencing um, other than that. I, I'm at the highest weight I've been in a very long time and that is because of my last job I was sitting down a lot and now I have a van I'm not you know walking as much but my self-esteem has been going down a lot not fitting into the clothes I've been you know usually fitting into not looking the way that I want to look and I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I look in the mirror. I don't, I don't see myself. I see somebody else. Somebody that I 
don't really want to be. I have encouragement, I have support behind me, but sometimes it's not enough. And it doesn't help when, you know, people do look at me and think I am pregnant or that I'm going to have a baby. It's like, no, it's a stomach. <laughs> it is a stomach that, you know, I have and that I'm trying to get rid of and I can't get rid of it. I tried and I'm trying and trying really hard, but I can't get rid of it. So that's also been hard. Um, yeah, I now being on YouTube, it's like I'm coming out of my comfort zone so much. Uh, showing myself, my real self, in spotlight, um, no filters. Sometimes I have filters on my videos, but not very often. Um, this is natural light right now. <laughs> I, yeah, and it's taken me a lot to really sit here and make this and, um, you know, make the videos and I find when other people are in my videos, it's a lot easier for me to adjust, but just know that I am trying really, really hard uh, to make these videos and to feel comfortable with being um, in front of the camera. Like, this is something I never thought I would ever do. But I pretty much am kind of making this video just to kind of vent to you guys. I've just been thinking about a lot of this lately and I don't know um, if you guys maybe have been through the same thing. I know depression and anxiety, it's very, very popular. Like it, a lot of people do have it. And there are a bunch of people who have not been diagnosed with it yet. So that's also a whole lot harder. Um, the hard part is, is I don't have a family doctor. My family doctor retired, so unfortunately, it's harder for me to get uh, medication and all that mess. Uh, but I'm trying, but I don't know like the whole work situation, how I'm going to do it. And like I said, I am terrified to even go back. If I could be at home, I would, but I have to support my kids. I have to, you know, I want to give them everything they need and want and the only way I'm going to be able to do that is if I face my fear and go back. Oh, now I'm not um, getting a call center job again. I'm hoping to get something where it keeps me busy, 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 but to where, I don't know, maybe I'm not around a lot of people, but I don't know. If you guys have any suggestions, just <laughs> comment. But I, some advice would be appreciated. Um, maybe some tips or comments. I don't know. Um, but I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm definitely, I feel like I'm alone in this when I know I'm not alone. Uh, but I do feel like I am very alone in this situation. I do have support, but when you're experiencing something that you don't know what to really say to somebody, it is hard, really, really hard. And I thought maybe making this video would make things a lot, maybe a little bit, you know, a lot easier to where maybe if I spoke out loud, maybe it would all make sense type thing. I don't know. Um, yeah, <laughs> I said this video was pretty much going to be me venting to you guys and maybe seeing if you guys had any advice or tips on how, what I should do, maybe how to get through this or maybe share your guys' experiences if you guys are experiencing the same thing. Um, <clears throat> so that is that um i think i'm gonna get off of here now if you guys uh, missed my 25 uh things you don't know about me i do say uh a few things like uh uh why you know i left my job and stuff like that too so if you guys i uh, do want to watch that i will link it down below 
but for now um i'm gonna get off here but thank you guys for watching and like i said if you guys want to comment comment down below and i will definitely comment back to you guys or if you want to uh follow me on my instagram my instagram is leafsgirl1992 that will be down below as well dm me anything like that uh so thank you guys so much for watching and uh subscribe if you guys have not subscri subscribed yet uh and i will uh, see you in my next video bye you guys thank you for watching